Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and I got something that I'm kind of proud of that you're probably not going to be too interested in. So I threw in a knife, but that knife's very specific. It's my, for my hobbit's finger, it's actually not a pocket hobbit, it's a hobbit's finger mod on a um, old timer sharp finger. This is a sharp finger, and I called this uh, double edge serrated top modification the hobbit's finger. And that's kind of the theme. Uh, I just got finished binding my own book. Now, this is a book of no answers. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really have any content in it. The workshop, the workshop, uh, workshop was teaching a class on how to bind books. It was free. You sign up, and it was a, an adult's class. Um, I don't think kids would have the patience to do what I did. <laughs> But uh, it was like just a, at the local library, and uh, they would teach you how to bind a book. And um, right away, I wanted to uh, theme this after Tolkien's books. Um, more specifically, the Red Book. The Red Book, I think, is of the West March. And something that's very common with uh, Tolkien's books is that they have maps on the inside. So I wanted to incorporate that. So that's pretty much the two only two references to Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit is that this is red and what do you know? I put a map in it. <laughs> so um, uh, just to kind of show you uh, what I did, this is a bound book. It has uh, hinges. You know, it's you know it has the proper gap in there and. Um, this is the front inside cover. It's very rustic. The pages are not flush. Um, you know, you have that. I was I was wanting to fix that, but I couldn't. No, look, it's not completely glued. Boo hoo! This was a lot of work. <laughs> this was a lot of work. And as you can see, it's sewn. I uh, sewed the um, um, what's it called? Um, uh, there was a name for these. You, you basically bind five pages uh, at a time together. Uh, regiments? I think it's called regiments. I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but look, this is blue. And this is brown. I ran out of uh, string. So I don't know if... Um, well, that, there's one of those. Uh, I don't know if you can see it at any of these pages. And you're not really supposed to see the thread, but it does happen. Um, but um, um, there, I ran out of string and I wanted to splice new um, thread together, so I used blue when I first started. And um, I don't know, well, that's blue, but at some point, it, you saw it a while ago, it was brown. So, um, uh, yeah, I don't know why I can't find it now. Um, but there it is, it's brown. And so I, I, I use two different colors to uh, splice it together. It's easier to keep up with string when you're tying a string or rope together if they're two different colors. But yeah, like, this was a lot of work. And it's crappy, but I have a whole new appreciation for medieval, um, in Renaissance era books, I mean, keep in mind, paper was expensive. You had to have a scribe write all of the book. And then you have some guy like me trying to bind it, and you have to sew it together and sewing it together. Oh my gosh, it was so frustrating. I'm not a great sewer, um, but just to, um, you know, sew it together uh properly and you know of course if you're uh if this had writing in it you have to make sure that all the pages are uh corresponding correctly in the right order and that the right side up and stuff um and you know that's if you're using a scribe um that's extremely difficult now think about uh the gutenberg bible uh that's not a whole lot easier you can make about 60 gutenberg bibles to one handwritten bible um, but um, still, with the Gutenberg Bible, you're setting the uh, plates page by page. You're printing off like maybe a hundred pages of Genesis uh, uh, page one, and then you do the plate to 
the next page, and you do like a hundred of those. So you know, there was a lot of work involved in the first printing press and printing out Bibles. And then you have some guy who's going to sew them together correctly and then bind them in a beautiful book that is worth, I, I've just learned this, if you're a banker in Florence, it'll take half your uh, uh, wages to buy a Gutenberg Bible. That's before the, that's, that's with the uh, first printing press Bible. Just think about the um, uh, written, hand-scribed ones. And they're very beautiful and highly decorated. This was just me. Uh, let's see, uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. I just got home. Um, this started at 5.30. So, um, you know, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8.30 maybe around. Um, um, you know, um, that's, that's that was a lot of work just to get this pushed out as quickly as possible and I was still slow compared to other people and um, yeah it was quite the job and part of the problem is that you have limited space you're in a you're on a table with three or four people you don't have a whole lot of room to spread out all of your equipment and all of your papers and cardboard and all that stuff so it's you're working in a tight area and then you're messing with a lot of glue. I've rubbed most of the glue off my hands, but I had glue all over the place. And then I was getting glue um, specifically on this map. I had to get a brush and brush off the uh, glue um, just to kind of, you know, wipe it off. And you can see I messed up with that as well. Uh, I thought it would be easy to... Um, glue everything together and then cut it off and uh, scissors weren't working um, exacto knife wasn't quite working I did get to use my Emerson Persian for a little bit not much uh, but man I am both disappointed and proud of this book uh, it's not quite how I envisioned it uh, there were some other people in the class who was doing a great job but um uh, like, I put a lot of effort into this, and, um, uh, barring the house burning on fire, or catching on fire, the house catching on fire, uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna look at, look back at this and laugh. And I really want to try doing it again. Um, you know, I've always watched the book binders and the forage artists and stuff on the internet and just thought, wow, that's a cool skill. But, man, that was quite nerve-wracking. Uh, I uh, posted on Instagram. I don't know if I made a YouTube video on it or not. Uh, if I made a YouTube video on it, I'll uh, try to put it in the description or the uh, comments and pin it. But I did a replacement of a, or a, not a replacement, but a repair of a broken hinge. You heard me talking about the hinge right there, and it was broken. <laughs> and I don't want to break this hinge, <laughs> but. Um, I bought the book binding glue uh, and I watched a video about 20 to 30 times on how to do it and it came out pretty good. I, I'm not going to get the book out of my display case. I have a Matham case that I, ha that I keep stuff in and I don't want to disorganize it uh, to get that book out. But uh, I bought this book on eBay. It's the ABCs of uh, beekeeping and uh, the hinge was broken. And I looked up how to repair it, and I did a pretty good job of repairing it. And, um, you know, and I was pretty happy with that. And I was like, oh, well, I did a good job at repairing this hinge, and maybe I can bind a book. Completely different, uh, <laughs> just completely different issue. Completely different thing that you're doing. Uh, involves some of the same tools, but it's a different game altogether. So that's it. I wanted to share with you my... Uh, uh, Codex Osticus or um, Red Book of the West March. Um, um, I enjoy. I both enjoyed and hated this thing. Uh, you can see where I didn't. Why I kind of messed up right there. It was a. It was an interesting experience. So that's it. I'm a Satsu Five, and I'm out.